Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and then in today's tutorial on Julia coding questions, we're trying to solve a problem of creating a function that will determine whether a word is an isogram or not. So what is an isogram? So an isogram is a non-pattern word, right? That is, is a term that is used for a word or phrase that is without a repeating letter, right? So it's telling me that all the words appear once and they're not repeated. So now let's see, and so an example is something like, let's say, bank background. It's an, it's an isogram another word like hospital hospital is an is an isogram right so that is it but the word isogram is not an isogram right because the s and s are repeated twice perfect so that is what we're we'll trying to do so first of all the main idea that you might you should always normalize your words right normalize it with a lower case so that a capital a and small a are always the same so let's work on a function the function is isogram perfect and then we're going to make sure that we are only accepting strings right so we use abstract string to make it more abstract string you can do without this you can do without this thing right it's still going to work you can do without this it's still going to work the most important thing is that it's a string but this one will make it more faster and it will restrict it to only abstract string perfect so then we're going to make sure that we lower we normalize our, our test, entire test, by lowercase and then string. Perfect. Then the next thing is that you must make sure that you find a list or a character data structure that accepts only characters, right? So only characters. So how do you check to accept only characters? One nice thing about Julia is that if you do something like this, uh, this, right? This is, the type of this is you check for the type of this word that we had here this is going to give us what is a string right but if you make it like this it's a character right so that's what we're trying to do so you make, make sure that all the ways are of that sentence right is a character so how do you do that you're going to create a list or a character that only accept only that accept only characters right so it's quite easy to do so you're going to call it as characters then i'm going to call it as ch chrr which is just like this one then it's going to accept only characters perfect then the next thing we're going to do is that you're going to try and then make sure that it's an alphabet right and you're going to look through it so you can see for for the character in this uh, string that we had so is that word an alphabet so it's alpha is a simple way of doing it so it's alpha so is this character that is we are looking through is it an alphabet yes if it's an alphabet then continue with this continue c right continue and then do this thing so if it's an alphabet then check and see if that word right if that character is not an element so how do you do it's not an element not like not in right so to do not in in julia is quite simple you can also use this Put them together like this, right? Not in and then tap. It's going to create a very nice mathematical symbol for that. So not in my character that I had here, my characters. If it's not in, we are, we are doing a ternary operator, right? If it's not an element of all this here, then you push it or append it. Append it to my character and then my C right there this alphabet perfect so append this word here or push this word into this right that is the purpose of that is the purpose of this c into this right then after that if not true so this is just a ternary operator that is a so it's going to be a b c right so if a is true give me b give me b if a is not true give me c that's the main idea behind this so if c is not an element of the characters here then push it inside this or else return false that is the main idea of this right so just a ternary operator perfect then next one we're going to do is going to end this our for loop and then we're going to return again then true then end perfect so it has already created our isogram so now let's check and see whether we're going to 
our work, word is going to work so it's isogram then the word we're going to use is the word like background so background is an isogram it's a true it's a true isogram let's check another example is isogram another word like isogram isogram itself isograms is not an isogram because s and s are repeated twice so it's false right so we can check another one one last thing that we can check is isogram then it's going to be a word like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. flash point right like flash flash point true perfect so that is the main idea about it so we are trying to make sure that the words are repeated once without repetition right that is the main idea right without a repeating letter so so you first of all are going to normalize it you put a data structure or a list of only characters that accept only characters we look through it if it's an alphabet and then if that alphabet is not an element of the character that you have you append it to our characters or else you turn false so that it only accept only once thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe.